Imagine this. You're at a public event when someone suddenly collapses. They're not breathing and panic sets in. Would you know what to do? A bag valve mask or BVM is a simple yet powerful tool that can mean the difference between life and death in emergencies. But how do you use it correctly? What are the common mistakes to avoid? In this video, we'll walk you through when, where, and how to use a BVM effectively. Whether you're a first responder, healthcare worker, or just someone who wants to be prepared, this knowledge is critical for saving lives. A bag valve mask is used when a person isn't breathing or isn't breathing adequately on their own. Here's when you need to act fast. First, if a person is completely unresponsive and not breathing, immediate ventilation is needed. Next, if someone is barely breathing, making gasping sounds, agonal breathing, or their oxygen levels are dangerously low, a BVM helps provide essential breaths. Next, cardiac arrest. If someone has no pulse, CPR is necessary, and a BVM is used in combination with chest compressions. Next, if you suspect a drug overdose. In cases of opioid overdose, the person may have severely slowed or stopped breathing, requiring BVM-assisted ventilation. Next, drowning incidents. If a person has been pulled from water and isn't breathing, using a BVM can help oxygenate their lungs. Next, in cases of severe trauma or respiratory failure, dash, injuries affecting the lungs or nervous system may require assisted breathing. Now, we know when. Let's break down step by step how to use a bag valve mask correctly. Okay, let's start by positioning the patient. First, gently place them on their back on a firm surface. Now, to open their airway, use what we call the head tilt, chin lift method. This helps prevent their tongue from blocking their breathing. However, if you suspect any spinal injury, it's crucial to use the jaw thrust maneuver instead. Next, we need to seal the mask. Place the mask carefully over their nose and mouth, ensuring it fits snugly. To do this, use the CE clamp technique. Imagine your thumb and index finger forming a C around the mask's edges, while your middle, ring, and pinky fingers create an E along their jawline, pulling up to create that tight seal. Now, let's deliver breaths. For adults, squeeze the bag once every 5 to 6 seconds, aiming for 10 to 12 breaths each minute. For infants and children, you'll need to squeeze a bit more frequently, once every 3 to 5 seconds, which is 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Remember, each breath should last approximately one second, and you should see the chest rise visibly. But be careful, don't overinflate. After each breath, it's essential to check if it's effective. First, look. Watch the chest rise and fall with each breath you give. Then, listen. Place your ear close to their mouth to hear for breath sounds. Finally, feel. Check for air movement by placing your hand near their nose and mouth. Finally, let's talk about troubleshooting. If you don't see the chest rise, try adjusting the head position and the mask seal. If you hear air escaping, reposition the mask or try a different grip. And importantly, avoid squeezing the bag too forcefully. Overinflation can push air into the stomach, which can lead to complications. You know, a bag valve mask or BVM it's really an essential tool in emergency medicine. But, and this is crucial, using it correctly can mean the difference between life and death. So today, we've covered some really important points. First, we talked about when to use a BVM. Think respiratory failure, cardiac arrest, and, well, any situation where someone's struggling to breathe. Then, we looked at where you might need to use it. And honestly, it could be anywhere from inside a hospital to right there on the roadside after an accident. And of course, we went over how to use it. Proper positioning, getting that crucial mask seal, and the right ventilation technique. You know, all the steps we just went through. Now, if you found this guide helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends and family. This is a life-saving skill, and you really never know when you might be the one to save a life. For more detailed training and resources, you can visit my website at www.ecgkid.com, or directly check out the courses I have available on our site. See ya.